everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video I am doing a time lapse painting of Saitama from One Punch Man using my Arteza gouache paints. This video will also serve as a review. A link to these paints will be in the description of this video and using this link you can get 10% off your purchase using the discount code SAKURA10 when buying any Arteza product. I also would like to mention that I am an Arteza affiliate, meaning I get a small portion of the sales if you go through my link to purchase Arteza products. So if you would like to support my channel, please visit their website and browse their art supplies. So gouache paints are an interesting medium because they have an opaque quality similar to acrylics, but they're also used with water similar to watercolors. I have used both acrylics and watercolors several times before, but gouache is relatively new to me. So far, I have only used them for backgrounds of a few other drawings, and I will leave the links to those videos below. Anyways, my first impression of the gouache paints was that they are very opaque, but you need to add the right amount of water to avoid streakiness. I made that mistake right away when I started painting Saitama's face, but I soon realized that I just needed to add more water. I found that if I put a little bit too much water, I would need to add two or three layers in order to get complete opacity, but with the right amount, I was able to get full opacity in just one layer. Another thing I noticed is that these paints are not easy to blend if you are trying to keep them opaque, but that just might be due to my inexperience in this medium. With a lot of water, they easily blend as you will see when I get to the background. If you want to paint in an opaque style, I would say this medium is very suitable for anime and manga art that contains a lot of block colors. The fact that you can create very clean edges with this paint also contributes to that. About these paints is that if they dry on your palette you can reactivate them by just adding more water. That way you are not wasting paint and if you mix a specific shade and it dries you don't have to remix it you just need to add water again. As you can see with the background the paint behaves just like watercolor when the paper is made wet beforehand. This is the best aspect of these gouache paints because they are like the best of both worlds when it comes to paint. Overall, the Arteza gouache paints are very pigmented and very opaque, while at the same time work excellent as a watercolor substitute. I have the set of 24 12ml tubes, and this includes all of the colors you need to create a vibrant painting. These are also not very expensive at all. I think I paid around $25 Canadian on Amazon.ca, which is an amazing price for such high quality products. I am looking forward to trying other Arteza products in the future and I highly recommend that you try them too. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.